Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Back From The Future. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about this little parcel that's coming to the post today. Uh, let's open it up. If I'm thinking what I think it is, then it's my Xeon processor that I've uh, ordered off eBay. So, let's... So, so, so we see and I bought this um, basically it's a 6 core Xeon processor and the remarkable thing about this Xeon processor is that I only paid £22 for it oh it's stuck right in the bottom That's not, so no one can't say it's secure oh hang on, hang on. Got it here. Oh, he ain't. I thought it would be packaged better than that. He's just stuck it in an envelope. Now, the whole thing about uh, getting this 2620 uh, Xeon processor was that I'm going to be building a very, very cheap um, editing rig. Bargain basement parts. I think the most expensive thing that might be. On there is the motherboard itself which is an x79 oh ga 2011 but the xeon pro the 2620 uh, xeon processor is comes from the e5 sandy bridge um set it's a 2 gigahertz uh with an over boost of 2.5 gigahertz it's six cores with 12 threads with a tdp of 95 watts so it's quite low um current usage compared to other uh, Xeons, um, LGA 2011, DDR3 and it accepts ECC server RAM which is really handy because it ECC server RAM is uh, bloody cheap at the moment you can get 16 gigs of uh, ECC um, DDR3 for around £60 and uh, or even $60 and uh, 32 gigs for about $120 or pounds, you know, is roughly the equivalent. He has 5 meg uh, internal cache and for the, I mean for the money, 6 cores, 12 threads for £20, you can't go bad, you, I mean you can't go wrong, there's no way you can go wrong with that and I thought, you know, I'm getting, I'm ordering uh, a whole load of these Chinese motherboards in uh, from China, uh, the X79LJ11s, uh, 2011s, uh, just to see what they're like and hopefully um, I'll just see what they're like and if I think they're any good I'm going to sell them on my uh, eBay store, you know, because uh, I do uh, sell stuff like that just to fund uh, the channel and projects and so forth so we'll give this uh, thing a go at some point and I'll put this in a motherboard and uh, we'll fire it up see how well it runs um, Premiere Pro CC and uh, how well it handles difficult tasks in terms of render times and everything else and that's it for now and uh, guys I hopefully I'll see you in the future if there is one